Hello there. So in the last video that I did, I was talking about a Super Nintendo controller that you could make with some wires and resistors and chips and such. And I didn't do such a good job explaining how the actual um, the shift register and the, the electronics worked. So I'll put on a link, link or danga somewhere if you want to see that video. Um, but just keep in mind that this is not purely about shift registers. This is also about that with reference to the Super Nintendo controller. So I'm going to omit some, omit some stuff. Um, back in the day, right? Uh, this is like Atari days. They had these controllers that... Um, this isn't the exact pinout, but it, it's similar to this. So, you know, each button, up, down, left, right, fire. You got ground, ground, and power. And you have the A, B, the... the um, potentiometer knobs for the the paddle like for pong and stuff so you can quickly see how this economically hardware wise if you're like oh we need we want one more button how that becomes more difficult so one the thing that nintendo did and i assume other people did but i just know specifically super nintendo I actually know this is that they use shift registers so that's, that's this guy, right? So they use the one in the Super Nintendo controller is a 40, 40, uh parallel in serial out uh, shift register. Now, what does that mean? That means that it takes a parallel signal. So this is time end, right? So you're just playing, you press buttons one and three at the same time, right? That's that's a normal situation down and back at the same time, A and B at the same time. That's That's a normal play situation. It creates that parallel, conforms that, converts that parallel input into a serial output. It goes out serially, and that looks like, so, for example, with, with the four inputs, you'd have, you know, time, M1, M plus 1, M plus 2, M plus 3, so there'll be four different very small moments where the um, computer, in this case the Super Nintendo, is looking at the input signal, the well, which is the output from the um, shift register and it sees that one and then later it sees that three the signals are higher and in this case it's higher it could be you know different system different setup a different way you can see maybe because hopefully you can see that because you're relying on one pin for output and if you do it you know everything's super fast that it feels in time and then you have more room for different kinds of button schemes or controller inputs Right, so let's do the the pinout of the four zero two one. You got sixteen pins. Doop, doop. You got uh, power here, which is standard. This is ground, and then you got you got eight inputs on here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And then you know, don't ask me why it's set up this way. It's just I don't make chips. This is just how they did it. Uh, maybe it was convenient for some application it was originally designed for, or um, I don't know, there's some chip-based reason why it matters, having things close to each other. And then you got the parallel slash serial control. Sometimes it might be called a latch or pulse or something like that. Basically, just when a voltage is, is asserted here, that the... Um, shift register knows that the super nintendo wants to start reading signals that are coming out from the pins the other pins that we'll talk more about in like 30 seconds uh, you know, 10 seconds or something so the clock this is also from the super nintendo this is just the clock that the, it's going up and down and up, 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 it's going up and down and as that that's dictating when the signals are shifted out so that everything happens in sync because this has two shift register chips the circuit if you recall, or I'll show you in a second anyway. And this is the serial input. So normally this is connected to ground if you have one, but the Super Nintendo, because it has 12 buttons, that requires two shift registers. So this serial input will, if this is the second one, will get connected to the first one. So this is where you can kind of daisy chain them together. And then the data out, all right? So this is just all the data from whatever chips that you have um, they just all get streamed out on this one pin. So you might be noticing that pins 2 and 13 are not 
I mean, t two and 12, I'm sorry. Two and 12 are not labeled and that's because there are other outputs, but they're delayed. So there's like, it'll be one frame or whatever uh, clock moment behind this one. And then this will be another clock moment behind, um, but they're not read by the Super Nintendo. So for this application, they don't matter, but you could do stuff with them potentially if you were making your own circuit or system or something. Then let's do, let's look at the circuit. So we got one shift register, another shift register, connect all the grounds. So this is the serial input. So this is the first one. So it just goes down to ground. Then we got the um, the power connections. And so this is, you have 16 button connections. And um, these are four aren't used. So you just use resistors to make them go up to um, five volts. And these are, all the re resistors are 10 kilo ohm resistors. This is uh, the brown, black, orange kind, um, which you can see in the, the same video that I keep mentioning. And then you got the parallel serial connection just goes in there. And then the clock just goes in the clock pins. And then you got all switches. So we got 12 switches. We got B, A, X, Y, select, start, L, R, and then up down left right so they just get connected in this order so they are read properly by the uh, super nintendo then you just connect the output from this one to the serial in and then you read this gets connected to the super nintendo and then you just read it or the super nintendo reads it and then it's, that's it that's it that's all you do that's all you need to know um that's shift registers and a Super Nintendo controller. And that's that's a little more. And that's it. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.